The mission of the play here is to inspire and empower ordinary people to take action, to do something about the poverty that exists in the world today, to work together with people who need some support to lift their living conditions. So we're working in projects in countries in the southern part of Africa, because in this world today there's too much, it's too much. There's too many children who die under the age of five, there's too many people who go to bed hungry every day, there's too many people who don't have a roof over their heads. I mean, some of these things, it takes some efforts by more people other than those who live in those conditions to lift it and support them to change those conditions into something better. Our objectives are to train people to become able. Because uh, if you want to make change in this world, then you need to be able to communicate. You need to be able to plan. You need to be able to move something from one stage to another. You need to be able to take action and see it through till the end. So actually the kind of uh, training that we have, both theoretical and practical, so it's about learning about the world today, about the realities in the world today, and also what we can do. Because sometimes you can think, okay, we can't do anything. <laughs> the problem is too big or too broad or I'm just an ordinary person, what can I do? So actually our training enables people to build on the skills that they have because we all have skills and experiences and it's to build on those to become more forceful and have more capacities to uh, work together with others. My name's Tina and I'm headmaster here at DRH Lindersvold, the travelling folk high school at Lindersvold. It's located in Faxa. Faxa is uh, around 80 kilometres south of Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark. In the countryside, in a beautiful location, close to the beach, close to the forest. It's actually very nice. At Lindersvold we have five institutions. One of them is DRH Lindersvold, where we have training the volunteers who are uh, going for making serious efforts to work together with others to change their conditions. Then we have a care home which is called the Botabud, which is for young people over the age of 18. It's where they live and because they can't live in their own homes or they can't live alone so they have a place where they get support uh, from at least there's employees on, on site here. Then we have the Care Home, which is an institution also for young people between the ages of 12 and 18 years of age. They are also unable to live home with their families for specific reasons, so it's their home. We have the Day School, which is a school for the young people who can't join the public schools. So these young people, they come here for school every day and they get to develop themselves so much. They do theatre, they go on travels and investigations, they do a lot of things that help them to see themselves as somebody because many times people have told them that they're nobody and it's so good that they can be here and be in a place where they get valued for who they are. Connected to DRH Lindersvold, we have something called the STU, a training program and it, in, it means a special individual training program for young people over the age of 18. It's a very practical program, it's for them to build their skills that might enable them in the future to get a job. We have uh, three teachers employed who are working with the, the development instructors who come here to do their programs and also climate activists. And then to run the place, we run the place together. We run the place with the common meeting where we together, teachers, headmaster, students, we take decisions about how we want the things to be, how we will organise with food, cooking, cleaning. Or we take decisions about specific projects that we want to run. The Take 10 programmes are three months training period at Lindersvold, building up skills and abilities, working together as a team, and then spending six months in a project of Humana People to People. So these projects might be with community work, it might be working with training children in, in preschools, farming projects, uh, health projects, and, and they're all interlinked anyway, so 
If you work with one specific area, you will work with a broad foundation. And then they spend one month back again. And then the second programme that we have, it's a 24-month programme, which is Pedagogy for Change. So it's 12 months spent in Denmark working with some of our partner schools, also based on location here at Lindisfold. Yeah, working with young adults who need special support or extra support to be able to live their lives. And then it's uh, eight months in a project with Humana People to People and then it's four months back again to conclude. And that, that programme, the 24 months programme, has examinations with One World University. So there they are uh, getting a B certificate in pedagogy, learning Danish. We have a climate programme where we work together with Richmond Vale Academy in St Vincent uh, in the Caribbean. This programme is very much action based. It's about learning about climate, about environment, about what we can do, because this is an issue that's threatening our future, the future of our children. It's threatening now. I mean, islands that are getting washed over, people having to move from their, from their homes, uh, climate refugees are growing. So this is a, a program that we started because it's an, an issue of today and it's an issue that's affecting, it will affect my children and also the children of many others. One of the main things in the programme is about the world of people and politics today. It's understanding the conditions for people in the world. It's understanding why people are poor in this or that part of the world. It's about understanding the way the global system is organised today. So it's also going into human rights, it's going into politics, environmental issues. The volunteers from the Take 10 programme and also the 24 Months Pedagogy for Change programme are from Lindisfold right now. We have cooperation with Humana People to People in Zambia, Malawi, Mozambique and India. The Global Warming Climate Change programme, we have cooperation with um, Richmond Vale Academy in St Vincent. People come here for different reasons. Some come because they want to be part of a community. Others come because they want to change their life. Some others come because they want to change the world. I and mean, it's very different, but I mean, the basic is that you're over the age of 18 and that you have a will to use your skills and capacities and surplus to do something that will benefit other people. And by doing that, you will benefit a lot yourself because you just build skills and become more empowered and able and understand the world in better ways than, than before. The vision for the future is that we are a planet protection centre. So around all the activities that we do, we want to have a very strong foundation on, on how we behave according to transport and food and growing own food and so on. We want to be out in the local community. We want to get many more students so that we're full to the brim of people who want to enjoy this learning environment, this teaching environment, this environment of community. Living in a community, some, it might sound nice and romantic, but it's a work also, and everybody has to work towards the centre. But this means that we develop a more humanistic society because then we learn to value others for who they are, what they can do, rather than what they cannot do or what's annoying about them. No, who are you? What is good? What are your skills? How can we work together? So I think this sense of uh, community, training, empowerment, that's some of the things why we need schools like this in the world today. <laughs>